fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, single collar tie here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kick lands, he's hurt. Looking to land right just out of range. Dig and kick. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He missed with that jab attempt there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Superboy. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch by Choi. Man, look at him load up on that right. Just over three minutes to go now. Unable to connect there. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Misses again with a right punch. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Out of oh. range with that one. Slips. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. Oh. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, nice. Big body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. He lands with the knee to the body. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice head kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful kick. Single collar tie. 
five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he goes. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice knee to the midsection there. Good punch. Oh, nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Hits the elbow there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful takedown yeah, land. Potentially a critical takedown here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Down into his mouth. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Andy lands the knee to the body now. And just misses with that big right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice loop and punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Takedown attempt late and a 
It's good. Well, both fighters are pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Joy gets hit with a kick. 10 seconds remain in round two. Joy's punch to the body there, doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, what a punch. He goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Try to establish that jab. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Body kick is blocked. Good punch, Lance. Wow. Tags him with the left. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And they separate. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Effective punch there by Chor. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Nice punch lands over the top. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Head kick, that's a miss. I mean, he's cutting him down the side. He's jumping. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet. Just... And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Nice leg kick. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Let's get back down here and work on the cut. Slice broke and good. There's a lot of blood. Can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. In the well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Oh. He's, he's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Just misses there with the left. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big diving punch is good. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, collar tie. Switch, he lands the ball. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big kick land. Now we're just throwing to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors just played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So the celebration is on with him and his team and right